Space was a kind of grand container holding objects and events. Whereas time was a universal flow carrying everything from the present into the future. Einstein came to a completely different view on space and time. They were not independent of one another. They were aspects of a single thing, a single fabric of space-time. Everything unfolding within those four dimensions, always. Before the volunteers can really understand how we might travel through time, they'll need to make the same intellectual leap that Einstein made. We realised it was a model of our journey. I think the realisation of what it meant came quite a bit later on, though. <laughs> Travelling through time with this visual, it seems like moving up, moving forward. I mean, ultimately, I think we want to, to be able to manipulate where we are and when we are, and that the two are in, intertwined now. With this, you can see you can't separate space from time, even though we don't typically look at it that way. Are you saying it's not space and time, it's space-time? Space-time. Space time. Space might as well just wow. it all together. It's no longer a separation, for now we have a space-time map. So both are all in the same. Norman, we've brought together the four <laughs> dimensions. <laughs> yes, They've got it. They have seen that their journey through space and their passage through time are inextricably linked. Time and space do not exist separately. They are unified. Space-time fills every corner of the universe. And always has. Every event in our lives has a unique reference point within it, both a physical location and a specific moment in time. The same is true for every particle in the cosmos, and every moment in history. I won't look at it the same way anymore, because I am where I am, and I'm also when I am. Space-time, it's the same thing, and you can't separate them. So we'd have to manipulate both to travel through time. Most people think of time travel as a sudden disappearance from one moment in time and an instantaneous arrival in another. Usually involving a cleverly engineered time machine. I hate to be a killjoy, but I doubt it will ever be possible to jump through space-time in this way. To understand time travel, we need to think of it as a journey. An expedition either forwards or backwards along